In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the state of items. And remember earlier, we described states as being things that distinguish items as different from other items of the same kind. Things like serial numbers, expiration dates, and order numbers. In this instance, let's apply a serial number to one of our items here. So I can click on the um, action or event menu and select change or I can click in the blank area under serial number and click change. The benefit of doing it this way is that the state you click on will appear in a prominent position whereas if you do the other menu option you'll have all the states appear um, together. So let's take one unit and we will apply a serial number to it and click save. Now you can see we have one unit with this serial number that is now different from the other 127 units that have not had a serial number applied to them. Let's do the same thing with an expiration date. Now it's quite common that an expiration date will apply to many units. So we're going to go ahead and change a hundred of these units and give them an expiration date say of next year. And it's important that we pick the date and we're ready to go. So now we can see that we have one unit with that serial number, 27 units with no distinguishing information, and 100 units that expire on February 1st of 2020. Now let's talk about adding order numbers. So you might sell an item and you may want to set it aside or distinguish it by use of an order number. To do that, we're going to click in this blank area here and click change and we'll say someone ordered five and we'll apply an order number to that and click save. So now we can see that we have 95 units with this expiration date and five of those units have been sold under this order number. To drive the point home, let's sell more of these units. Again, I'll click in that blank spot and click change. And let's say that we sell 12. And this time it's under a different order number. I'll go ahead and click save. And now we can see that we have two outstanding orders, one for 12 units, one for five units. If I want to sort my inventory by order number, I can simply click on the header and I can see all my orders here. And when we get into more complex behaviors of picking and packing, uh, these order numbers will come into greater use. But for right now, I just want to get the point across of how you can apply this type of information to the units in inventory and how these things present themselves in the main interface. Thanks for watching.